earlier in the show, uh, you talked about issues for a lot of NFC teams. And that got me to thinking, hmm, let me go ahead and just write them down and see where the Cowboys' problems and issues rank. Everyone's got problems in life. Everyone's got headaches. Mm -hmm. Who's got the migraine? And who's got the hangover one? Where are the Cowboys' headaches compared to some of the other big dogs in the conference? Let's start off with the team that we are facing to start off the season, and that would be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady returning to practice. Uh, he put on social media. He was not at the mass Singer. Other people think it was a family vacation. But I think it's pretty clear the Buccaneers' number one issue is their offensive line. I think it's pretty, pretty evident. The, the old line for them, they've got a couple of guys out. And then, of course... Um, you know, you're looking at their lack of receivers because you only have Evans. You don't have Godwin right now. Now it's going to be even more and no Gronk and no Gronk old Julio. So are they going to be able to get the ball out? A guy's going to be open enough to be able to get the ball out in 1.5 seconds. Yeah. I feel like the number of short, short completions against the Cowboys, those attempts are going to be through the roof. The, these are going to be four and five yard completions, uh, these are going to be, you know, 12, 13, 14 play drives that Tampa Bay is going to have to rely on in order to score against us. Uh, because Tom Brady, we know, loves to get it out quick. If you have no offensive line, it's going to come out faster. And if you're waiting for Chris Goblin to come back and you don't have Gronk, you know, that usually leads to shorter passes and maybe some longer drives. You just got to tackle well with Yak and not give up the deep ball when they decide to take those shots. So, Offensive line for Brady and the Bucks, and we're also going to have to study his time and getting it mm -hmm. out. Uh, that's going to be an important stat as we get closer to week one. All right, now let's move on to us. All right. What is the Cowboys' biggest issue right now, y'all's biggest worry? Is it offensive line with Steel, Biotis, Badez? Badez. And look, Ty Tyler Smith is still not the starting left guard. So you got three questions on your offensive line before Tyron has his injury issues, which we know are coming. Mm -hmm. What about the receivers? The, the receivers are all about the leap. But that's after you deal with a bunch of no names because of the injuries to Gallup in Washington. So you got no name depth mm -hmm. and three questions on the offensive line. You're going to combo them as one jump out is more glaring than the other. What's the Cowboys' biggest problem or worry? I'm not worried about no-name depth. I think a lot of depth is no-names in general. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of times you're going to get, you know, these glue guys that you don't really hear of that become really so, – so just take Tampa, for example. Um, like Scotty Miller. The wide receiver. Yeah. He's a depth guy. Nobody, nobody heard of Scotty Miller before Tom Brady got there. Right? So you, you you can manufacture a lot of those depth glue guys. I, I think the offensive line is a is a, is a concern. You have, you're breaking in a rookie. Uh, you're breaking in. Which sounds like he's still not going to start. It's yeah, going to be Connor not. McGovern. You know, what is bad is. Um, what, how good is the right tackle going to be? How healthy is Tyron Smith going to be? Is Zach Martin still a unit? Like, these are questions that that we have to answer. So I do think offensive line is probably one. You know, I, I look at wide receiver a little bit differently. I, I think the wide receiver pro is, is a problem. But again, we're forgetting that Michael Gallup's coming back in a couple of weeks after the season starts. So that they should theoretically be, be fine. And hopefully Schultz can carry some of that burden. Right. All right, so let's go offensive line then for the Cowboys. Let us know yours. Truckrack.com text line. What we should write down for the Cowboys issue. 877-881-1053. Hit us up with it so we can list it. 877-881-1053. The Green Bay Packers, it's receiver. Right? Yeah. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was asked a great question the other day. After he called out the young receivers, he was asked, you weren't at OTAs. That having any impact on this story? As Aaron came mm -hmm. out and said, oh, the young guys, they've stepped it up. This is where I think the offense should be. If you got all these new receivers and don't have Devontae Adams, you should probably be at OTAs. You should probably be at the minicamps 
working with them, you would think. Uh, so Rodgers was asked about that, but it's receivers for the Packers. Agreed? Uh, I, look, I don't think it's a huge deal. Huge deal to miss OTAs. But I do think it's a deal. I do think there was some impact. You can't tell me that missing OTAs had no impact on it. But receiver is their issue. Yeah. Give me the Rams' biggest issue. Rams' biggest issue is Matt Stafford's right elbow. And if that's fine, what else? <laughs> it's not good for us. Um, no, it's not. But I guess their biggest issue is, you know, what were they last year? At no point during the year did we were like, were this is the best team in the NFL? No, they were us. Yeah. Same same conversation. Very very much so. Um, they won three games by nine points in the postseason. I think their biggest issue is they're not as they're not they weren't the best team in the NFL, therefore they overachieved last year. The odds of doing it again, really. Which again, that's the best problem to have on this list. Just for the sake of it, I want to put the Eagles on here. Because some people have them winning the NFC East. Biggest issue. Quarterback throwing the ball. Is well, quarterback yeah. their biggest issue? Oh, I, 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 yes. What else would it be? They have receivers. They have names on defense. Their roster overall is probably better than ours. People aren't dogging their coach. Jalen Hurts' right arm. Yeah, it's probably their ability to throw the football. Um, I think that I think the same thing can be said for every team in the NFC. It's not, not 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 the Cowboys. It's that's throwing the football. But yeah, with Philadelphia, I would say absolutely it's hurt. What's Arizona's biggest issue? Cliff Kingsbury's December. He's had a very terrible run as a coach, no matter what level he's been at. By the way, does Kyler dispel any of the work habit study questions since he dialed up their two touchdowns as offensive coordinator? Oh, why would you let him call the plays if he didn't, yeah. uh, didn't do any studying? I know, there? right? That story went away quick. It went away very quick. But I think their issue is Hopkins. Look what happened last year without all the weapons. And now DeAndre is not going to be there. Now, they got Hollywood, correct? Yes. So they, they got Hollywood. They overpaid. They they blew up the market with Christian Kirk. Yeah, no, no, that was Jacksonville. I'm right? sorry, Jacksonville. And then they have Ertz. So yeah. what is the biggest issue for, like, their team, though, their roster? Not the narrative. I know it's Kingsbury at the end of the years. But them as a squad. So uh, I, I think it's, you know, Kyler taking the jump. Because a lot of people have totally dismissed and forgotten Arizona. All right, so... Let's put them in order of the Cowboys, Bucks, Packers, Rams, Philly, Cardinals. In terms of the problems and the headaches, what are the Tolos saying our number one issue or concern is? Uh, Cowboys, number one concern right here. Uh, let's see. They have, uh, a, well, for, for one, they say Dak is over evaluating to establish the run and the play action pass. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dak is their biggest problem. Uh, O-line health. O-line health. Wide receiver depth. Wide receiver health. Jerry Jones is the issue. Kellen Moore is the issue. <laughs> Kicker. 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 Jerry Jones. Uh, O-line. Assume, even assuming Tyler's good, what about Ball? Steele? Tyron? will miss games. Uh, the biggest issue is the fans' expectations. What people are coming in with on the on the Cowboys. Issue. All right, let's put them one through five of the problems. Five is the Rams. Rams they have the least amount of problems. Rams have Rams have the least amount of problems. It it it, it would take Stafford's arm blowing up. You know, it's taking Tommy John for Matt Stafford's right arm. Now that would end their season the fastest. But like right now, as it stands, he's still out there practicing. And if your biggest issue is repeating, and the odds of it not happening. You got the least amount of problems. So I'm putting them at number five. Yeah. What else is jumping out to you? Either as the biggest problem where the Cowboys belong on this list. Man, in terms of the NFC, they, 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 they absolutely belong on it. Only because there's probably only about five teams that could win the NFC. That's really it. Uh, but the, the Rams are clearly the team with the least amount of problems. Although their problem, like you said, could bite them more than anybody else. I would have to say... I think 
I know you don't think it's the Packers. No. You don't you don't think Devontae is that huge of a deal. So the Packers are gonna be lower on your list. I think Devontae's a huge deal, but I also think Aaron Rodgers can find the next Devontae. How much of a problem is the Bucks offensive line gonna be with Tom? Getting rid of the ball. I, I think that'll be a... Because you believe that quarterbacks make O-line. So I wouldn't think you have them very high up on the problem list. The issue is is that they do not let's keep have the, let's keep let's, let's keep the Cardinals out of it for now. Okay. Just Cowboys, Bucks, Packers, Rams, Philly. I think the Cowboys have more worries. I'm sorry. I think they have more worries than Green Bay. Okay. But less than Tampa. Okay. Because Tampa's got O-line problems and wide receiver problems right now until Godwin comes back. Uh, so do we. So do we. But we are not playing backups, backups at offensive line positions. Our offensive line is just unknown because they haven't done it. Tampa's is unknown because their starters are hurt. Right. So I would say Rams, Packers, Cowboys, Tampa. And then the number one problem is the Eagles? Yeah, the Eagles. Yeah, they don't have a quarterback. The Eagles have the biggest problem. Yeah. Now, I think the Eagles can be the poor man's version of the Ravens, and they can win a lot of regular season games. Yeah, I agree. But they got the biggest kryptonite for the playoffs. Uh, yeah, 100%. They, they, got the, they got the biggest postseason kryptonite. Um, but heading into the year, Philly may feel okay with the way the Hurts is just going to run it and the way that they build their college-style offense – uh, so your list, the Eagles have the most problems, the biggest concern. Then Tampa with the O-line. Then the Cowboys with the O-line. Then Green Bay with the receivers. And then the Rams. I can get down with that. Yeah, now a lot of people are coming in the fan text saying the Rams' biggest issue is depth. And that's very true. They are a uh, they're a house of cards, man. They really, really are. Last year, didn't bother them. Didn't bite them at all. This year, might. Mike.